In this video, we're going to talk about how to draw the Lewis structure of the nitrite ion, NO2 minus. So as always, one of the first things we need to do is count the number of valence electrons in this ion. So let's go ahead and do that. Nitrogen is found in group 5A of the periodic table. And so it has five valence electrons. Oxygen is a calcogen found in group 6A of the periodic table. And so it has six valence electrons. But because we have two oxygen atoms, we need to multiply that number by two. And we also need to add one because of the negative charge. If we had a minus two charge, we would add two electrons. So now let's do the math. Six times two is 12. Five plus 12 is 17. 17 plus one is 18. So this is the number of valence electrons in the nitrite ion Lewis structure. Now, there's something that you can do to determine the number of lone pairs that will be on the central nitrogen atom. So first, identify the highest multiple of eight, just under 18. So multiples of eight are eight, 16, 24, 32, and so forth. 16 is the highest multiple of eight under 18. Next, take that number and subtract it from 18. This will give you the number of electrons on the central nitrogen atom. So there's gonna be two electrons or one lone pair on the central nitrogen atom. This is gonna help us to draw the Lewis structure. So let's begin by putting those two lone pairs on the nitrogen atom. And nitrogen has two oxygen atoms next to it. According to the octet rule, the maximum number of electrons that the nitrogen can have around it is eight. It already has two. If we put a bond between N and O, that's gonna be four because every bond represents two electrons. If we put another bond, that's six. Now we need one more bond to get to eight. So that means one of the two oxygen atoms will have a double bond. So let's choose the one on the left side. Now the next thing we need to do is add some electrons to the oxygen atoms. Whenever oxygen has two bonds, it's gonna have two lone pairs, generally speaking. And when it has one bond, it typically has three lone pairs and a negative charge. So this is the Lewis structure of the nitrite ion. Now we can draw the resonance structure of this ion. We can take a lone pair, use it to form a double bond, and then break this pi bond, push two electrons on the oxygen. If we do that, the resonance structure will look like this. The double bond basically moved from one oxygen atom to the other oxygen atom. And so those are the resonance structures of these two ions. The true structure is actually a hybrid of the two. Now the molecular geometry around the central nitrogen atom is bent. And the hybridization at the nitrogen atom is sp2, just in case you needed you know, that kind of information. Now let's talk about the formal charge. Notice that the overall charge on this polyatomic ion is negative one. And we can see why, because the oxygen is negative in charge. The other two atoms are neutral. To calculate the formal charge, we can use this formula. It's equal to the number of valence electrons minus the bonds and the dots. So in the case of this oxygen atom, it has six valence electrons, one bond, and there's three lone pairs, which is six dots around it. So it's six minus seven, and thus we could see why this oxygen is assigned a negative charge. Now, in the case of the central nitrogen atom, here's what we're gonna get. Nitrogen has five valence electrons. In this structure, 
it has a total of three bonds and it has one lone pair or two dots. So it's going to be five minus five, which is zero. And thus the nitrogen is neutral in charge in this particular Lewis structure. So the overall charge is based on the negative charge on one of the two oxygen atoms. And so that's it for the Lewis structure of the nitrite ion. Now you know how to draw it. You know its molecular shape, its hybridization, and you know how to draw both resonance structures of this particular polyatomic ion. Thanks for watching.